Hey guys, how's it going? Ricky here from Most Valuable Podcast, here to give you our NFL Power Rankings, week six of the NFL season. If you're new to these videos, how the Power Rankings work is Mark Weber and myself come up with our individual Power Rankings for the week. We assign points values to each. So example, if the Lions are in last in the Power Rankings, they're going to get one point. If they somehow get to number one in the Power Rankings, they would get 32 points. We add the point values from each power rankings together, and that gives us our NVP, NFL Power Rankings, this one for week number six. And let's get right into it. The bottom five, 32 through number 28. The bottom feeders this week are the Detroit Lions. Then at 31, we have the Miami Dolphins breaking their tie this week, Dolphins being on the bye. Then we have a tie for number 29, actually, Saints and 49ers, and then at 28, the Jacksonville Jaguars. And on these bottom teams, the way I see it, I had the 49ers really low because they should have won that game against New York. Defense should have stand tall. That's how I see it. The Lions are just bad. Dolphins had the bye, so it's like, okay, you break your tie with the Lions from last week. The Saints got blown out, even though they got that last Brandon Cooks touchdown, and then... Jacksonville, to me, I had them a little higher than Mark did, maybe by a point or two, but hey, they still got the loss against the Buccaneers. Heading into the next five, we have at number 27, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the team that beat Jacksonville. Then at number 26, the Oakland Raiders. Then coming in at 25, the Kansas City Chiefs. And then tied for number 23, the Baltimore Ravens and the Cleveland Browns. I know what you're saying. Well, Ricky, how are the Browns and the Ravens all tied up when the Browns beat the Ravens? This is one of those things where Mark was higher on the Ravens than I was. They shouldn't have lost to the Browns. The Browns were a team that they should have beat. However, I am giving credit to the Browns. Browns were then higher on my rankings than they were on Mark's. But hey, they all added up to tied in the MVP rankings. Then we have the Chiefs losing to the Bears, falling down a spot. You have the Raiders. They, they play a close game, but look at the MVP rankings. They are actually falling two spots. And then the Buccaneers just gaining some, gaining some spots here with the win over Jacksonville. Then the next, we're only going to have a group of four this time. You guys will see why later in the video. But the next group of four we have at number 22, the Philadelphia Eagles, tied for number 20, the Washington Redskins and the Houston Texans, then at number 19, the Tennessee Titans. And the Titans kind of moving back one spot. They had the bye, so some teams kind of jumped them this week. Texans and Redskins getting kind of the short end of the stick. Redskins losing in overtime. Texans playing one hell of a game against the Colts before just losing by, I want to say they lost by just a touchdown, 27-20 in that game. Eagles moving up seven spots in our rankings this week after their big win over the New Orleans Saints. Hey, if they can get another one going this week against the G-Men, maybe they can move up more in the rankings. But let's the next group of five. And number 18, well, tied for 17, we got the Dallas Cowboys and the Chicago Bears. Then at tied for 15, another tie, the Buffalo Bills and the San Diego Chargers. Then at number 14, the St. Louis Rams. And the Rams moving back some spots in the rankings following their loss to the Green Bay Packers. We've got the weird one is the Chargers just staying put with their last second loss, literally last second loss to the Steelers on Monday night. I'll be honest, Mark had the Chargers ranked higher than I did. So, you know, Charger fans, thank Mark at the Mark Weber for keeping you guys at number 15 in our power rankings. Bill's actually moving back. They're moving back for a win, a one-point win over the Titans. And then the Cowboys, they lose to the Patriots. Bears moving up a few spots with the win over the Chiefs. Then 13 through 9, we have at number 13, the Minnesota Vikings. Number 12, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Number 11, the Indianapolis Colts. Number 10, the New York Football Giants. And actually, that's tied for 9 with the New York Football Jets. So both New York teams coming in tied this week at number 9. 
Jets moving up a little bit. Giants moving up with their win. You have the Colts move up two spots. Steelers. This is a big thing. Mark had them. I want to say Mark had them higher than I did. Uh, he had them higher than I did. The reason why I had them so low is, hey, they won on the last play. Yeah, it was a gutsy. Were they? Did they move up a few spots in my rankings? Yes, but it just wasn't as high as Mark had them. And then the Vikings just kind of almost stand put, moving up one. Of course, I favored them higher over Mark because Mark's a Bears fan. That's the same thing for the Bears. Mark had the Bears higher than I did, just their little fandoms coming out there. Then the last group of five before we get to our special group, we have the Seattle Seahawks coming in at number eight. Number seven, the Carolina Panthers. Number six, the Denver Broncos. Number five, the Atlanta Falcons. And then at number four, the Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals get a big win. Falcons winning winning against the Redskins in overtime. They stay put. The Broncos stay put. I had them falling a little bit further in my personal one just because they should have blown they should have blew out Oakland. They should have blew out Oakland. The reason why they didn't, they didn't throw to Owen Daniels. That is why they didn't blow out the Raiders. But that's just my opinion. Then you have Carolina and the Seahawks originally tied for seventh, but the Seahawks with their overtime loss that kind of split them apart from the Panthers of the bye. But hey, those two teams are playing this week. And then the last three. And usually you're like, but wait, Ricky, usually it's the last two. It's the last two. And the reason why I say the last three is we have a tie for number two this week. We have the undefeated Cincinnati Bengals and the undefeated Green Bay Packers tied at number two. I had the Packers at two, Bengals three. Mark had the Bengals at two, Packers three. So that's why these two are tied this week at number two. And then number one, the New England Patriots. And the Patriots, this is how I say to me, I know how each week I said, well, these two teams are going to be one and two until they lose. That was obviously wrong with Mark putting the Bengals at number two this week. But the way I see the Patriots, are they the, are they the defending Super Bowl champions? Yes. Are they undefeated? Yes. Until one of those is a no, I'll give you a hint. It's going to be the second one. When the second one's a no, that's when they'll fall from number one. So the Patriots win. Just expect New England to get two first place votes from Mark and myself. But that is going to do it for our NFL Power Rankings week number six. Go ahead. Tell us down below in the comment section who's ranked too high, who's ranked too low, what team didn't fall enough, what team didn't rise enough. Let us know in the comment section down below or hit us up on Twitter. For me, it's at Ricky Widmer. Mark is at the with two E's, Mark Weber. Most Valuable Podcast is at Most Valuable Pod. Go ahead, hit that like button, that subscribe button, all that good stuff. I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. And as always, have a good day, everybody. Hey guys, like the video? Then hit that subscribe button. But if you liked it even more, you should check out our Patreon page. We have a lot of different rewards and goals for those of you who would love to support us. So make sure to click that link down in the description to check out those pretty kick-ass rewards.